Today I'm going to take you through a 30 minute chest and tricep dumbbell workout. You can do this as a follow along with me. I'm going to be using two pairs of dumbbells, one heavier 20 kilo, that's 44 pounds per dumbbell pair, and one lighter 10 kilo, that's 22 pounds per dumbbell. If you've got an adjustable bench, that would be great, but I'll give you options with or without. We're going to kick things off with a brief warm up using the lighter dumbbells and some body weight movements. Let's get into the workout. So we're gonna start things off with a chest to floor inchworm. We've got four exercises doing 30 seconds each. For the second exercise, you'll need one of those lighter dumbbells. We're gonna link each exercise straight into the other. So just follow along with me, starting with this inchworm. So hinge at the hip, reach the floor, walk out, drop the chest walk it back and hinge back up and repeat so hinge at the hip reach down walk it out drop to your chest walking back hinging up we'll link this straight into a single dumbbell overhead tricep extension so if you grab that dumbbell Extend up nice and tall, dropping it low behind your back, keeping your elbows together. Just get those triceps warmed up. We're going to do some arm circles after this, getting some blood flowing through the shoulders. So just circling forwards. We're going to do two rounds of these four exercises and take it in reverse and then we'll get into the main strength sections. Next up we're going to do some bent over Y raises. So come into a bent over row position, thumbs up, make a Y shape with your torso. Bringing your hands back down in line with the knees. Keep a nice flat back. Keep the elbows locked out. This is a great one for warming up the mid traps and the rear delts, helping improve your posture as well. So we're going to link straight back into those chest to floor inchworms. So hinge, reach, walk it out, drop it down and repeat. <laughs> Taking that single dumbbell for those behind head extensions. Elbows tucked in nice and close. Drop the dumbbell behind your back, getting a nice stretch on the tricep. Into the arm circles, just circling forwards. Take it in reverse. Into those bent over Y raises to hinge at the hip, flat back. Make that Y shape. Keep the elbows locked, turn the thumbs up and slightly out. Great job. Okay, we're gonna move on to the first strength section now. 
gonna take my bench. We're gonna do an incline dumbbell bench press. If you haven't got a bench, you can just do a flat, regular floor press. We're gonna need that heavier pair of dumbbells. We're gonna be doing 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, four chest exercises with the dumbbells. So if you bring them onto your knee, we want a nice controlled tempo for these. We're just gonna do a regular incline dumbbell bench press. So press up, smooth tempo on the way down, press up to the top. The dumbbells don't need to touch at the top. Make sure your elbows aren't flaring out too wide. You should be making an arrow shape with your torso from a bird's eye view down. So I have a slight rotation of the dumbbells. I'm gonna bring the bench flat now. If you're on the floor, you're just gonna do a neutral grip, flat still. If you're on the bench, we're gonna do flat dumbbell neutral grip bench press. So that means that your palms are facing one another. Wanna feel a nice stretch on the chest. This is not a fly, we're still doing this like a press. So you're gonna come out, elbows. And squeeze the pecs together as you come to the top. So we're coming a little bit wider with the elbows than you would do on a neutral grip floor press if you were trying to target the triceps. But we're keeping the palms facing one another the whole time. Squeezing the chest muscles together consciously as we press. Don't worry too much about the timer, always finish your rep. Okay, next up, I'm gonna pop up into a glute bridge. And whilst we're in the glute bridge, you're gonna do a decline bench press. So we're using that glute bridge position to create a deep decline. Elbows out like you would in a regular bench press, but not too high that it's uncomfortable on the shoulder. So keeping the hips up high. We're lowering control until elbows and triceps make contact with the floor. Engage the glutes, keeping the, that decline angle. Okay, we've got a pullover now. Gets a nice stretch on the chest, this one. So you just need one dumbbell for this. We're gonna keep a consistent elbow angle throughout the whole lift. It's okay to have a natural arch in your lower back, but try not to exaggerate it too much as you drop into the pullover. I find it helps to keep the glutes engaged slightly to avoid any overarch. Only go as far as your shoulders are comfortable with. Great job. So we're gonna have a proper rest time now, about 45 seconds off which is a lot longer than you'll see in some YouTube workouts out there, but we need to let the muscle recover so we can do a decent set again. So we're gonna go through that two more times. So there'll be three rounds in total, just putting the bench up, ready for that incline dumbbell bench press. So we can go through that again. We've got the incline bench, flat neutral bench, bridge decline press and a pull over. Control the tempo on the way down. 
Squeeze the pecs together as you press. Dumbbells don't quite need to touch. You want your elbows out wide, but you shouldn't have your shoulders high in the sockets. You still want them dropped slightly in towards your body, maybe a slight quarter turn to the dumbbells for good shoulder health. We're going flat bench, neutral press, or if you're already on the floor, just switch from an overhand grip to a neutral grip for this next one. So keeping the palms facing one another, elbows out slightly wider than a close grip floor press. Then you just squeeze your pecs together as you push up. Onto the floor, we've got that glute bridge decline press. So you're going to pop up into that glute bridge, creating a slight decline angle. Definitely getting tougher. Okay, you can do these on the floor. If you are doing it on the floor, I recommend propping yourself up with a cushion if you have got one, so you can get a little bit of a bigger stretch overhead. But if you're on the bench, that pullover shouldn't be too bad because you can drop a little bit lower past the bench. So consistent elbow bend throughout. So you should have just a small bend in both elbows. And then you're gonna keep that angle throughout the whole range. You'll feel your lats stretching, but your pecs also getting a stretch in that overhead position. So it's a bit of a combination of chest and lats, this one. Great job. Okay, we've got one more round to go in this first section. So get a little sip of water, get ready to go again with that incline dumbbell bench press. In the next section, we'll be having one chest exercise, or two actually, and then two tricep exercises. So I'm getting about eight to 10 reps done on each of these. Bringing the bench flat now for that neutral press, which is a great rep range for building muscle. I see a lot of uh, workouts online 
just have way too high a rep range for the goals of the people doing them. Got that neutral press. Onto that glute bridge and finding this the toughest one, probably just because it's the third press in a row. But we are doing a slight mechanical drop set here, moving from a mechanically weak position on the incline, allowing the pec major to get more involved as we gradually shift to more of a decline press, which is traditionally stronger than your incline. So although we're only having 30 seconds off, we're actually using the same weight and moving to a slightly easier variation of bench press, which should allow you to continue the set. Ooh, although it's still tough. Ooh. Okay, let's get that pullover done and then we can move onto a few tricep exercises mixed in. Great job. So we're gonna to move to the lighter pair of dumbbells now. We're gonna do four new exercises. If you're enjoying training with me, but you fancy to do more of a sets and reps plan, check out my 12 week dumbbell ebook, which I've linked in the description of this video. It's a periodized plan with video demos for all the workouts. It's really close to how I personally train. But let's get this next section done. We're gonna start things off with a flat fly. If you're on the floor, you can do a dumbbell fly. So if you're on the floor, you can do a dumbbell fly with your back propped up with some cushions and it'll allow you to get a little bit extra stretch. With these, don't bring the dumbbells all the way to the center because there's no resistance with a dumbbell in the middle portion of the rep. So let's just leave at least a foot between the dumbbells and the center. Coming out nice and wide. Okay, we're gonna do an overhead tricep extension. You can do this just in a half kneeling position or if you've got an adjustable bench, you can do it on a bench. I'm gonna use these hexagonal dumbbells jamming two together. You could even use a single dumbbell of one of your heavier ones. So we're gonna drop nice and low behind the bench, extend to straight. Drop nice and low, extend to straight. Whoa. 
Next up, we've got a cross body, low, high fly. <laughs> Alternating arms, bit of a mouthful, that one. So we're gonna start from having the dumbbells just in front of your quads. We're gonna draw up and across, alternating sides. And we wanna keep that same consistent elbow angle throughout the whole lift. Trying to squeeze your pec as you cross your body. Okay, next up, we've got a skull crusher. You can do this flat on the floor or put your bench flat. Either one is fine. So slowly lowering down, extend the arms to straight. We're trying to keep the upper part of your arm fixed. So between your shoulder and your elbow, that part of your arm should stay still, pointing vertically. You're gonna hinge at the elbow. I'm just brushing the tops of my ears with one edge of the dumbbell. Make sure you don't bash yourself in the head. Extend to straight, squeeze the triceps and repeat. Great job. Okay, so there's round one of three done in this second final section. I'm gonna put the bench, or well, the bench is fine, it's ready for the flies. So I'm gonna do some dumbbell flies to start the next section. This is actually part of a 30 workout, six week dumbbell lift series. So well done if you're on that and if not, Check out my playlist and you'll see the whole lift series in there. It's 30 workouts over six weeks, all follow alongs, usually around 30 minutes a workout. So nice wide fly, slight bend in the elbow. You don't need to bring the dumbbells all the way in in the center. Consciously pin the shoulder blades back, squeeze the pecs together. If you're on the floor, you're gonna go into that half kneeling overhead tricep extension. If you've got a bench, you can do it on the bench. If you wanna use one of your heavier dumbbells, if you've got a pair, this actually for me is the same weight as both of them put together, but it's maybe slightly com more comfortable to hold. So we're gonna drop nice and low behind the bench and then extend. You want the bench at least at a 45 degree angle, if not slightly more upright. If you're struggling, with hitting the dumbbell too early on the bench. If your bench is quite long on the backboard, you could try propping yourself up with a cushion or something on the seat to make you a little bit higher up, or you could just do a standing variation. We've got those crossbody low high flies. If anyone's got a better name for those, Put it in the comments below. You'll save me a bit of a mouthful. So unlock your knees, create a stable base. You're gonna come up and across. Alternating sides.
for that skull crusher. Hinge at the elbow, come in line with the ears, extend, squeeze the triceps at the top when they straighten, and repeat. Lower of control, try not to let the elbows flare out. Great job. Just got one more round to go. And then we're finished with today's workout. You've got your workout sorted, but make sure you're not neglecting your nutrition. If you want some support with that, I've got a lean body nutrition plan that helps you to lose fat whilst maintaining muscle. I've got a lean muscle nutrition plan helping you to gain muscle with minimum fat gain. They'll be in the description of this video as well, so check them out. Their ebook guides, loads of info, everything you need to know about hitting those goals. But let's get ready for these dumbbell flies. Squeeze those pecs together. Low of control, only go as far as your shoulders are comfortable with. onto that overhead extension. If you're using hexagonal dumbbells like this, keep them jammed together for the whole set. those crossbody low high flies unlock the knees create a stable base consistent elbow angle Right, onto the final set of the workout. Well done if you made it this far. If you're on the lift series, I'll link the next day at the end of this one so you can save it ready for tomorrow. <sighs> Nothing to hold back for now. Let's get some reps done.
Whoa. Great job, thanks so much for joining me. Let me know in the comments below, how did you find that workout and where in the world are you following along from? Here's the next day in that 30 workout lift series. And if you fancy checking out a little bit more about that 12 week dumbbell plan ebook, I'll link it here. Hit the thumbs up button, make sure you subscribe to the channel to help support it so we can make more videos like this. And I'll see you again soon for another workout.